In this video, we're going to explain the correct circuit breakers and fasteners you need to use in an end-phase backup type system. Now, at the end of this video, you should be able to list and identify the right breakers that you have to use in end-phase battery and PV systems or PV only systems installed with a system controller and set up for backup when the grid is down. End phase backup configured systems are designed to continue to provide power when the grid isn't available. In a backup system, the system's batteries and solar can still produce power and back feed power into the microgrid to run loads. When power can be back fit into any of the system breakers, we have to use the proper breakers and breaker fasteners to ensure that the system is safe. If a breaker comes loose or removed live, this could be dangerous. In an end phase backup system, we have several places where power is backfed onto a breaker, so let's take a look. If we are using the latest grid forming end phase microinverters, when the grid goes out, unlike in a grid tied system, the microinverters can still produce power, so we need to have the proper set of breakers and hold down fasteners where the solar is connected. This starts at the solar load center or end phases AC combiner box. When the grid is out with grid forming inverters, the AC combiner is still live, so we need to make sure the AC combiner branch circuit breakers are secured in place. Next, past the solar combiner goes into the system controller. Backfed energy is also at the PV breaker at the system controller. We also have to put hold down circuit breakers and fasteners at this point. End phase batteries have the same requirements. When the grid is out, end phase batteries still form utility voltage and discharge power to feed loads. So we have to put the right breaker and the hold down fasteners for the storage breaker slots. So what breakers are approved for use in an Enphase system? Enphase uses an Eaton bus in the IQ combiner and in the system controller. Eaton BR2 pole breakers and Eaton CSR main breakers are the only currently qualified breakers for an Enphase system. For backfeed breakers, you must use Eaton BRXXB breakers, the B indicating they have a bolt down option. The bolt down option breaker has a unique hole in the face of the breaker to allow a hold down screw, which fastens onto a plastic hold down fastener. BRXXB breakers usually have to be ordered differently to make sure you have the right breaker. BR220, BR230, BR240, without the B designator at the end, won't have the bolt down capability. <clears throat> you have to order the breakdown, breaker with the B option to make sure you get the one with the hole. Any Eaton BR breaker over 50 amps always has a hole, so you don't have to specify the B option. These would be the Eaton BR250, BR260, and BR280 breakers. Now, in addition to the hold down capable breakers, you'll also need to get the hold down kits. You must have the snap in hold down kits to be able to secure the breakers. For the AC combiner, there are two hold down kit options. The first is an Eaton BR EQS125. This includes a captive nut which snaps into the bus bar and a screw which goes through the BR breaker and secures to the nut that's snapped onto the bus bar. You will also need one hold down kit for each circuit breaker position. So if you are installing four branch circuits in an IQ combiner, you will need four of the BQ, BR EQS 125 hold down kits. One important note, these kits are only good for use in the IQ combiner and don't fit in the system controller. That's a different part number. A second hold down kit option is a hold down kit from Enphase for use in the IQ combiner. The Enphase part number is an X-IQ-NA-HD-125A, and it's available through Enphase distributors as well as at the Enphase online store. Each kit can secure two breakers on the same side of the IQ combiner bus. You would need two for both sides if you're fully loading your IQ combiner with four branch circuits of PV. For the system controller, you will need the Eaton hold down kits for the PV, storage, 
and generator breakers. The Eaton part number is a BRHDK125, and one kit will be needed for each breaker position. Okay, so to review, for any Enphase backup configured system, backfed breakers must be secured with a hold down kit. Eaton BR breakers with the tapped hole and the hold down kits are the only approved breakers in the system. So now you should know what a hold down circuit breaker is and which ones you should use in an Enphase backup configured system.